maisha settless ni maisha wasiwasi kwa sababu unakaa katika taifa ambalo ndio unasema umezaliwa lakini wakati huo unasema siji kama nitamka salama ukitaka hata kupeleka mtoto yako wakati ya nyuma hapo kwa shule uwezo ka register mtoto yako kwa shule hata kwa daktari ilikuwa ni vigumu uwezo kaenda unakaa tu unagonjwa hivyo mpaka unaamua unakufa tu kuna twenza walisoma nao school wakina pale tunataka kutafuta mtambulisho utambulisho wakifika pale akwambia ah hawa ni wabarubaru wa mahali fulani ule mtu fulani pale sikupatii wewe ni mpemba amteua pale acha wale wengine awapatie hapo mwamtoa mtoto atoka jina mia hivi maskini ali ya machozi amtoka amesoma na wao sikuli moja multiply that by the hundreds and thousands of communities and people that live in East Africa who do not have access to basic amenities basic services they were born here they live here they've lived their whole lives here and yet they do not have an identity card they do not belong because they are not listed in a constitution statelessness continues to remain a problem mostly because of historical reasons a number of um, um, people who came to these respective countries uh, some of them from as way back as 1900 from as far uh, flank places as the comoros um, continue to be subjected to a number of problems in their adopted countries because they can't get the relevant the documents they need to identify them as citizens So the, the, the problem um, is not known to many people. So when you talk about statelessness, people don't understand what you're talking about. And this is uh, for both public, but also some government officials as well. In this region, we don't have uh, precise quantitative data on stateless population. But I would say this is normal because collecting quantitative data about stateless population is a very complex exercise. It's very long, fastidious, because most of the stateless persons are invisible. The fact that they are invisible, they are not seen, they are not acknowledged, they are not provided for in any policy or any document. So they are, they're there, but they're not there. Um, they have no rights, they have no status. They just exist and they find they're resilient and find ways of existing, despite the fact that there's no official recognition um, that they are there. So a person who is stateless, is unable to, to access fundamental rights that citizens are entitled to. This includes uh, socioeconomic rights, access to education, access to healthcare, access to schooling. Um, people who are stateless cannot register a marriage. They cannot own land in many instances. It impacts their freedom of movement. They cannot cross international borders. And this obviously has devastating effects on the life of, of affected communities. Fursa kama za kufanya biashara ya kwenda nje tunakuwa hatuwezi kukapata kama mimi nimekosa fursa hiyo ya kwenda kuchukua saruji kule nje na kuleta Zanzibar kwa ajili ya shughuli zangu mimi za kufiatua matofali nimekosa siwezi nikapata. Kama tunatambulikana kabisa basi mimi binafsi basi ngalikwambia hata kampuni ya, kwe, ya kweka vitoto vya faranga vya mayai mimi ngalikuwa nazalisha saa hii kwa sababu hebu angalia sina kitu lakini hebu angalia vile ambavyo kwa nimefikia na najifikia kificho ficho mimi kweli ni haki hiyo We 
calling upon the East African states to really commit themselves in line with the Brazzaville Declaration, in line with the aspirations of the African Union Protocol to address the issue of statelessness by 2024. Uganda has uh, put in its laws provisions to make sure that people who have lived in this country for long, like Article 12.3, uh, provides that any person who has lived here for over 20 years can be uh, naturalized as a citizen. The legal department in the Ministry of Home Affairs we made some, some amendments in our laws, especially Citizenship Act, Cap 357, on amending certain regulations which will accommodate the people who migrated in Tanzania for many years. Sasa ikiwa ni sheria mbaya, wametuachia sisi na sisi badu tunaifanya kazi. Ambayo inatu isolate, au inatu bagua, hichi ndo kitu ambacho inatu affected kwetu. Kwa mashirika, ya kimataifa tualilia mataifa mashirika ya humu nchini tualilia serikali pia kwamba haya maisha ambayo tunaenda nayo si maisha kwa mtu kwamba aishi kwa wakati huu tuliona kwa hiyo serikali itufikirie ijukumuike kutujali na sisi kama ni miongoni mwa mwa raia wa nchi hii matumaini langu ama ombi langu ni kuomba serikali serikali isaidie mtu maragoli Hasamuno imuingize katika constitution tuonekane kama watu. Kwa kuwa saa hii tu iko hivyo tu na mnamna tuona na hali yetu ndio hiyo tu hata maendeleo hakuna. So the statelessness problem is not just a Pemba problem. It's not just a Comorian problem. It's not just a Nubian problem or a Makonde problem or a Shona problem. It's all our problem. It is a problem for each and every East African because if we are to grow, we have to grow together. We must start realizing that the laws that we inherited, most of us from our colonial our history, have been the biggest impediment to ending statelessness in the region. So we'll urge our respective uh, members of parliament in these countries to look into these laws with a view of repealing them with a view of amending them, because this will offer a very good framework for ending statelessness. <laughs>